These notes are on geometric sequences, and these are the notes from section 1.3. Uh, geometric sequences are a set of numbers in which each term bears a fixed ratio to its previous term. So we're going to look at a couple examples so that we can be clear to understand what that definition means. Um, in these examples, we're going to find the common ratio for the following sequences. So our first example is a sequence 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, etc. So this idea of ratio basically comes down to what am I multiplying each time? What did I multiply 1 by to get to 3? What did I multiply 3 by to get to 27? What did I multiply 9, sorry, 3 by to get to 9? What did I multiply 9 by to get to 27? And in this case, we are multiplying by 3. So we use the letter R uh, to stand for common ratio, ratio R, and we say R equals 3. Example 2, 125, 25, 5, 1, 1 fifth, etc. In this example, our numbers are getting smaller. So unlike number one, where we're seeing bigger numbers and we're multiplying, we might say that here we're dividing by something. Um, and in fact, we are dividing by five. However, our common ratio R must be a multiplication. So remember that dividing by five is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 5. And you can really clearly see that right here, where to go from 1 to 1 fifth, 1 times 1 fifth is 1 fifth. So we say r equals 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. Our last example is the sequence 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24, 48, etc. In this case, our numbers are getting bigger if we ignore the negatives, but we have this negative issue coming in. So in this case, I am multiplying by a negative number, by negative 2. So our r equals negative 2. 